Uh, Osgood Schlatter's is falls into that uh, knee pain that we just sort of described. And historically, it used to be just a problem we saw in boys. And that was because when I was a kid, boys were the active athletes. But now girls are equally, if not more active than boys, so we can see it in girls. So before you have finally stopped growing, there are growth plates of where the tendon attaches to the shin bone. And Osgood Schlatter's is basically an overuse where this muscle and tendon continues to pull right on that bony attachment. And sometimes you'll have a, a little bump appearing on that. So it's really not a single event, it's more an overuse or repetitive injury. So you can get basically Osgood Schlatter's, what we call the tibial tubercle, where the tendon attaches to the tibia. You can also have inflammation or similar disorder right at the bottom part of the kneecap. And that's a different syndrome called sending larsen johansson syndrome. The name isn't important. It basically is essentially the same process, only occurring at the bottom part of the kneecap. Treatment for those are usually rest, ice, and an aggressive stretching program.